Hey everybody, this is Roy Fields, and uh, this is gonna be very quick. Today, it's not by chance that I happen to be given this broadcast today because today is the anniversary of 9-11. How many remember back in the late 90s when all of the money was redesigned and it, it went from like little president's heads to big heads that look like, you know, monopoly money. I remember that, you remember that? So I did a little research and I looked it up and here's what I found. Read this. I, I, I typed in Google, when was the money redesigned in the US? Here's the answer. In the first significant design change since the 1920s, US currency is redesigned to incorporate a series of new counterfeit deterrents. Issuance of the new banknotes begins with the $100 note in 1996, interesting, followed by the $50 note in 1997, the $20 note in 1998, and the 10 and the $5 notes in the year 2000. Now look at the website, that's uscurrency.gov. I just read you when all the money was redesigned, but it did not go into circulation until 2003. We're gonna start with the $5 bill, shaped like an airplane. I want you to look, what do you see? Do you see two towers standing there? Like there's nothing wrong with them? Everything's fine, right? That's what they are, the two towers folded like an airplane. Let's move that aside, let's bring the $10 in. Uh-oh, something happened. What happened? The towers were hit by something and they appeared to be falling. Let's go to the 20, and now they've fallen even more. Do you see the two towers? What else was hit by an airplane on 9-11? Was it the Pentagon? Let's turn it around. And there is the section of the Pentagon. Let's move on to the 50 now. Remember, you saw the 20. They're almost gone. But when you get to the 50, they're gone. The towers are gone. They're gone, folks. This is on my money. And now get to the 100, and what does it look like? It's almost like there's some dragon or some just smoke coming up from the ground. Why am I showing this to you? Because we've been using the money forever and a day. And here's the one. What does the one show you? Oh, look at that. It's almost as if it's not necessarily the government. It's the people in the government or it's satanic at, at the top. Now, I never got into this stuff ever. I don't care about it. And this is the problem. Nobody really does. But folks, when I lay out a clear, absolute clear, you cannot, you cannot dispute this with the money that I have in front of me. There's no way to dispute this at all. You follow the track right now with me. And you look at when you fold an airplane, a paper plane with your money, and you go from the $1 bill to the $100 bill. They redesigned the money in 1996. They started with the $100 bill. And then they moved on to the 50, and then the 20, and then the 10. And it goes 1996, 1997, 1998, and then in 2000, they were done with the redesign. Folks, this is undisputable. They executed a plan that was already planned. Okay, here's the one to the five. The towers are hit. The, the buildings are falling. The buildings are gone, and all there's left is smoke. This is the mind blower. You tell me what you see when I fold this $20 bill. I'm gonna cut off his head a little bit here. Do you see a guy wearing a mask? Is there a guy wearing a mask? Is that, is that Andrew Jackson upside down, but they made his head bigger because they want him to wear a mask? And what year do they want him to wear a mask? Oh, look at that, 20, 20. That means that your whole life, brother or sister, has only been dependent upon the world system. And Christians, and I do mean carnal Christians, you have been a part of the world system. You've trusted in money. You've trusted in everything else except for God himself and his son, Jesus. It's time to repent.